Coffee is one of the most popular energy boosters on the market, but not many people like the effects of drinking coffee. So are there any alternatives available on the market? Well, let's find out. Hey, what's up, Greg here, the founder of Your Inception. If you want to achieve limitless performance, then subscribe below. Today, we gotta talk about the alternatives to coffee. Now, I love drinking coffee. I know a lot of people, like basically hundreds of people that drink a cup of coffee every single day. And I can imagine most of you watching this video also love drinking coffee. Now, if you prefer normal, like standard coffee, Americano, espresso, cappuccino, whatever, or if you prefer bulletproof coffee, which is kind of a, the upgraded version of normal coffee, it has MCT oil in it, it has a little bit of butter if you're not vegan in it, um, you know, that really depends on you. But as I said before, a lot of people love drinking coffee, but not everyone likes the effects of, you know, that, that happens after you drink coffee. For example, some people feel jittery, some people feel like they get kind of nervous after a couple of hours. Uh, they, you know, they, some people get a spike of energy and then this, you know, the energy, you know, they just, it crashes, you know. Um, then others have like issues with, with uh, heartbeat and so on. So, you know, not everyone is a big fan of coffee. And today I want to talk about a couple of alternatives that are as strong as those from, uh, you get from a cup of coffee, but probably or mainly without the side effects that some people experience with coffee. So if you're ready, let's just check them out. So before I share with you top three alternatives, I just want to mention one more thing. Uh, when I was searching for the alternatives, because there are many on the market, I was trying to find something like a drink that would be similar, like that would have similar effects as coffee, so the positive benefits, so it would increase your energy and you focus your attention. Then I was searching for a drink that was similarly safe to drink. And the third thing that I was looking for was a drink that costs pretty much the same. So I didn't want to find like an alternative that would be like three times the price of a coffee, you know, or that would be like super dangerous or anything like that. So something that is really similar to a cup of coffee or a cup of bulletproof coffee. So on the third position, we have super strong cocoa. Now, I know if you like drinking cocoa, if you like drinking um, hot chocolate, for example, uh, I used to be a big fan of, of, of those drinks when I was a kid. Uh, but you know, cocoa is actually a um, pretty strong nootropic. Uh, it's a compound that can actually boost your energy if you prepare it in the right way. And can, besides the energy, it can increase your uh, attention and focus. And really, you know, it, it's really a safe drink to drink. Um, it really comes with any side effects. So yeah, that's why we put it on the third position. So to make a really uh, strong cocoa, you need a raw cocoa powder. That's very important. It's raw, like without any kind of uh, sugars or anything like that. It has to be raw. Then um, you add a pinch of uh, Himalayan sea salt. That's what I recommend. A little bit of cinnamon. Then you add a little bit of MCT oil. MCT oil is an extract of coconut oil, a very strong one. And it's kind of a responsible to, you know, leave you or give you the energy and, and you, that you have the energy for a longer period of time. That's, that's kind of the main role of it. And last but not least, you can add like uh, almond milk in, you can add rice milk, whatever you want. You just want the, the healthy milks that are available. Um, so yeah, if you add these compounds in, if you mix them, if you cook them in a proper way, it's very simple. You're gonna get a super strong cocoa that is uh, very drinkable. The taste is, you know, discussable because raw cocoa powder um, kind of tastes quite different than, you know, um, there's more popular uh, cocos that you can find in a supermarket. Uh, but apart from that, you should expect a strong energy boost that will last for a couple of hours. And um, yeah, this is, you know, one of our favorite ways or one of my favorite ways to boost my energy. By the way, guys, if you like this video, press the like button below. I'll be super happy about it. Now, in the second position, we put Jerba Mate tea. Now, Jerba Mate tea is a South American tea, very popular in Brazil, very popular in, uh, I think, Peru as well, and in different uh, South American countries. Um, and it's one of the strongest energy booster you can find on the market right now. Compared to green tea, for example, or black tea, Jaramata is so much stronger, like the taste is a bit bitter. I love it, not everyone will like it, but it's very, um, very strong. I will give you this focus, will give you this attention that will stay with you for hours and hours and hours without, you know, the 
the, the spikes in your energy and you will be very calm because the tea kind of calms you down while it increases your attention. So it's very, you know, the effects are very cool. Now, um, here I have gourd and Jeromati is usually drink in, 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 or from such a gourd. Uh, this is a traditional way you put Jeromati in. I, I have another video, you find the link somewhere up there or below uh, how to prepare Jeromati and all the benefits about it. Uh, but basically you put the tea in, pour some hot water in, there's a special uh, bombilla or the straw that, that you drink from it. Um, and yeah, that's how you get your cup of Gerber Mate. I usually drink it whenever I'm working on, like if I'm writing my blog, if I'm preparing scenarios for the videos I'm making for you, uh, because I have this steady flow of energy, of focus, uh, without the spikes, and I really, really like it. Um, now, the cup of uh, Jeromite tea is probably even more affordable than a cup of coffee. Um, it really depends which one you buy. Um, you get them packed in, in like those big packages usually. Yeah, uh, Jeromite on the second position, very, very cool. Oh, and one more thing about it, I almost forgot. You can add actually a little bit of MCT oil that we mentioned before to Jeromite because what it can do is, you know, some people talk about it quite often. Um, that it can, um, yeah, even increase um, the length of the energy you get or the focus that you get. Now, I tried it. I don't like the taste so much. I don't like the, the, the structure because oil kind of flows up on the water and it's not um, that delicious to drink. You kind of have it all around the, your, your mouth and stuff. But apart from that, yeah, I think it's pretty cool to, to play with it. By the way, guys, I have prepared seven special secrets that will show you how you can outperform everyone else around you. To get them, don't my free hand below. Cool, now we came to the first place, the best alternative to drinking coffee. And in my opinion, these are nootropics and nootropic supplements. Yes, capsules, brain pills, energy pills, no matter how you call them, here you can find in this capsule a lot of stuff, a lot of cool ingredients um, that can um, absolutely boost your energy and they can do that uh, without any side effects, without any crashes, without any spikes, you know, they can really, you know, such supplements can really provide a lot of benefits. Now, the coolest thing about nootropic supplements is some of them contain caffeine, some don't contain caffeine. Now, that's new to this side. Uh, so, you know, this is an alternative um, that you can actually choose if you wanna have caffeine in or if you wanna have a supplement without caffeine. In both cases, you should, expect to achieve uh, or to get similar benefits with caffeine the effects are usually stronger without caffeine they're more weak uh, but you know such supplements still work even without caffeine so what usually happens is coffee kicks in quite quickly right after drinking a couple of minutes you get more uh, focused you feel better you're better mood and so on with you know such supplements they take a bit longer to kick in like 30 minutes usually but the effects are so much longer. I mean, it's just, you know, hard to compare it to a cup of coffee. And when the coffee start, you know, stops working after an hour or so, you know, this uh, or such supplements, you know, they still provide the benefits for like hours and hours, like three, four hours, five hours, even in some cases. And such supplements are also usually side effects free, not all of them. Um, some can have some adverse side effects if they're not high quality, if you overdose them and so on. But those that we recommend or that I personally recommend, they're really high quality. There's nothing to worry about. They're very effective, very safe, um, easy to, to take. And, you know, compared to a cup of coffee, sometimes you just cannot get a cup of coffee or even bulletproof coffee. It's harder to make. It takes more time. Um, you need all the compounds, all the ingredients with such capsules like this one, you know. You just have it with you, like in a small bottle, you can travel around with it. It's very convenient. And from the price pr perspective, um, set supplements are usually, um, but not always, um, more affordable compared to a cup of coffee because you have the extracts of many different natural compounds put in one capsule. And yeah, it just this is just more affordable. So yeah, this is actually by far my favorite alternative to drinking coffee because it's more convenient, it provides better energy, stronger energy boost, and the effect just lasts longer. And that's what I'm always searching for. By the way, guys, if you wanna um, find my favorite nootropic supplement, check the links below, you can uh, learn all about them. So, you know, what's my favorite way? What's my favorite alternative to coffee, to bulletproof coffee? What is like my best combo that I can recommend to you? 
Um, yeah, I often combine, like I often combine pills with gerba mate tea. I drink bulletproof coffee as well. It really depends from day to day, but on a regular basis, I take nootropic supplements, usually five days a row, every single week. During the weekend, I switch capsules to gerba mate. Usually I drink a cup of bulletproof coffee now and then without the butter. I'm trying to, to be, um, to avoid the, the, the animal fats at this moment. Um, I'm testing different stuff. So yeah, that's what I do. If you need a long lasting energy boost um, that usually coffee cannot deliver, right? Because you get a crash, then I recommend taking nootropic supplements. If you like with caffeine and without caffeine, that's when you to decide. Uh, if you want to have this long lasting focus, but if you want to be very relaxed, you know, at the same time, if you are reading, for example, doing some research um, and so on, then I do recommend taking gerba mate or drinking gerba mate tea. It's very, very good. And with cocoa, like I drink it now and then, I like it. It's not, you know, the effects are not as strong in my opinion, uh, but it's still a very delicious drink. So yeah, why not now and then? Cool guys, so we just covered three top alternatives to drinking coffee. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Please like this video, I'll be super happy about it. Um, subscribe below and press the yellow bell, whatever is there, so you get it notified when I publish new videos. Don't forget to follow your inception on Facebook and Instagram. Don't forget to download your free copy from Handbook and I hope to see you soon. Take care.